uh, we are going to do our second uh, demonstration on the sales journal if you have watched our previous uh, illustration we did a sales journal with one column now today in this demonstration we are going to do a sales journal with two columns that's what we are focusing on now how do you do it we have an illustration that we shall use here of turtle trading which provided the following uh, information for June 2019 right so we will go step by step with our transactions starting with 1 April sold goods to M Mambo invoice number 1001 for goods with a list price so what is very important here is now what is appearing here what the question is giving us list price now when you hear a list price uh, in some instances they also call it a shelf price a shelf price or a catalog price this is the marked price on any item as you get into a, a shop a wholesale and so on but businesses then give what is known as a trade discount and in this case a trade discount of 10% is being um, given to the customer right so how do we record such a transaction now let's see what we do is uh, we have our sales journal here the two columns that we are talking about are the amount columns here those are the two columns that we refer to so fine uh, we want to record our transaction so we start with the year so if this is april 1 we write the name of the customer because this is what is important for the business to remember the customer uh, may i take this opportunity also to indicate that the names that i use here are not for any specific person they are only meant for these demonstrations and illustrations so the original price here the list price is written 3000 that's the original price now immediately to this you indicate that there was a trade discount here that was deducted so the trade discount here remember we said it's 10 what 10 percent right so 10 percent trade discount in this case gives us um, something like 300 so if we subtract 300 from there what we get here is 2700 so that's the amount that we take to the second column the net amount after the trade discount we do the same for the next transaction let's see what it is saying right turtle trading issued an invoice so if a business issues an invoice to a customer it means there was a credit sale right sora for goods with 200 now if you read you see here nothing is mentioned about trade discount so we cannot uh, deduct in anything we can't assume the previous trade discount for this customer so it will be wrong so you take the transaction the way it is stated so we just go and record uh, the whole 200 because no trade discount was allowed to this customer so this customer is s sora the invoice number is 1102 the invoices are in order because they are being issued by the same business and then the amount involved is 200 and for that entry you don't record in the first column because we are not deducting anything it goes straight into the second column 
and then let's look at our next transaction here right so it goes to t term invoice number one one zero three with the list price of one thousand two hundred and allowed a trade discount of five percent okay so again this customer has been allowed a trade discount of five percent right so t tambo this is happening on the 20th That's our invoice number. Now to the amount. Our amount here is 1,200. But remember, there is a trade discount of 5%. So 5% of that amount uh, on your calculator should give you 60. Like that. Right. <laughs> So we do the same like we did previously that we are lacing um, trade discount of 5%. So the trade discount comes first. So that's our trade discount here. Right. Of 60. All right. So if you net those two amounts, what do you get? You also get something like um, 1,140. That's the amount that we are getting. So actually what it means is these are the, uh, what we have in this column are the amounts that we actually uh, invoiced to customers. Or these are the amounts that our the customers are owing so we want to totalize them and see how much uh, these customers owe at the end of the month so April ends at 30 this is very important you can write that one here right so we also indicate that this is the amount transferred to the sales account remember the sales account is found in the nominal ledger so this is the total that is transferred to the sales account so you only add the last column you don't add the other the first column right so this is very important also that the amount was transferred to the sales account as 4,000. So we shall indicate how this transfer was made. It was made at the end of the month. Now for the transfer, we come to the sales account. This is our sales account. For clarity, I will show it on another page. Okay. Right, you come to the credit side of your sales account. This is 2019 April 30. Remember, this is April 30. Okay. Just want to make sure that my date lines up nicely. So that we don't have problems with that date okay so what do you write here total sales for april then you record the total sales for april is four zero four zero so once you have done like this you are done You've completed your sales account. When we get to the next month, say May, we do another sales journal for May. We find the total. We come with it. 
we record the total sales for for May and it goes like that until the end of the year, the financial year. So basically for a two column um a, for a two column journal like this one, what is happening here is that you are just uh, using the first column to deduct your trade discounts. As we know that trade discounts are not entered in the customer's accounts because these are uh, allowed to a customer when the customer say buys goods in bulk then immediately the customer is allowed a trade discount so the customer owes these amounts net of trade discount i hope this uh, demonstration will assist you to answer questions that have to do with the the sales journal and posting to the to the sales account so watch out for our next video on the purchase journal and you can subscribe you can uh, comment on our platform to indicate or to give us feedback on how it is benefiting you thank you